Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 8th in a series of video tutorials on how to create a visual city in Unity 5. So this episode is the penultimate episode um, and in this one I'm going to quickly tidy up a few things in our hierarchy over here. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to the asset store where we're going to be dealing with a skybox and we'll also import a few more um, assets for us to use. So it's not going to be too long this one, it's just a few quick simple things we're going to go over before we get to the final episode. So firstly, in your uh, Unity, if you go to a window and go down here, you'll see an, um, one called Asset Store. If you click on that or press uh, Control and 9, you'll be presented with this, the Asset Store. Now the Asset Store is simply just a place where you can download assets for free, or if you want to, you can pay. So make sure you're logged in over here, and first thing you'll do is in the search box at the top, type in the words Classic and Skybox. The very first one which comes up will be this, Classic Skybox. So if you click that and then click Download, you'll be able to import this Skybox into your Unity project. The Asset Store is also available online so you don't have to do it directly through unity and it works pretty much the exact same way and it's assetstore.unity3d.com so if you head there you can do it that way or within unity itself so once you've gone into the classic skybox option and downloaded it and it's imported into your project you'll see here in your assets classic skybox so what we're going to be doing with this is if we quickly press play and if we have a look at our sky, it is just blue. You can leave it like that if you want to, but there are different options that you can use for a skybox. So if you go to Window again and go down to Lighting, just here, very first option will be Default Skybox, which is the blue that you see. So if you click this, you can then change your skybox. And as you've imported your um, classic skybox, um, package, you'll see a few different ones just here. So they range from Sky 01 all the way to Sky 15. So I'm just going to pick uh, Sky 6. So let's pick that one. And you'll notice here it comes up Sky 06. So I'm just going to click the X on that little option there just to close that. So now when I press play, we should hopefully see a better looking sky rather than the uh, plain blue that we had. So just to show you a few different things, if we go here, let's choose a different sky box. Let's choose, uh, let's choose 15 and see how that looks. So when we press play, you'll see we've got a kind of a sunset going on. And this would be the case of where you could use different lighting to kind of light up your uh, your city. It's entirely up to you. But keep in mind that the skybox does directly affect the light. So I'm going to stop that just there and I'm going to quickly select um, one of the brighter ones. I'll go Sky 7 this time. So you can choose uh, uh, whichever one you want. It's entirely up to you. So let's close that. So now if you remember previously we quickly created this here. Same as usual, I'm going to right click here, create empty, and I'm going to group, oops, that's gone into wall fire, let's drag that down here to uncouple it. And I'm going to right click, rename, and just call this one alley. And everything that we built here within the alley, I'm just going to drag into there. So the mesh fence, uh, the alley in there, uh, let's take all these walls as well and the alley and let's take them into there. Okay, so we've tidied up a little bit now. Uh, we've got the skybox in, so let's build a little more. So I'm not going to uh, teach you how to suck eggs as I say. Um, I'll give you a few assets to use for this. I'm just going to quickly build up this little bit of the city just here. So as always, you know the methods and the tricks by now. You can select and then you can hold control and pull them outwards. Uh, control D, duplicate. 
So once you get to this point, you can probably build um, a, a simple looking city very quickly. It's not too difficult to do it right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these just here and I'm going to duplicate and bring them down here. What I plan to do is our buildings here, I plan to make a kind of a, a corner just here, which is really, really simple. So let's get to it. So let's go to our textures folder down here uh, and let's go to, let's see, building textures. So let's import a few of our building textures. So let's import these ones just here. And as always, these assets can be found on our website for you to download for free. So we just import them. Hold on, as it says. So what I'm going to do is this particular building just here, we have labeled as shop 007 in our hierarchy under shops. So I'm going to take it, control D, duplicate, bring it to about there. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see, which one should I use? Let's use building 002 on there. Let's change the size. Uh, so we need to go on the uh, X scale and let's change this to um, how about 20. We could also do with reducing the Y scale to about 10. So that looks a bit better now. So now let's drag this into place about there. Zoom in a touch and let's quickly piece that together just there. So I am going pretty quickly now but you be as precise as you want to be. So I'm going to play with a rotation on this particular building. Uh, let's rotate on the Y by, um, which way is that going to rotate? 45 degrees. So we now want to align it just here. So I'm going to just pull it to about there. I'm not holding control at this point. I am doing it freehand. As I say, you can be as precise as you want. So let's put that there. Let's turn the camera angle around. And now let's create, um, in fact, I'll tell you what I will do. I will actually make it a little bit longer on the X. Let's make it 25. As I say, you be as precise as you want to be. And I'm going to take it again, duplicate, and I'm going to change the rotation to 90. So now we've created a kind of... Uh, a corner to our um, little city now. So we'll change this here. Let's uh, tell you what, we, I won't bother using too many of these just here. Let's import another shop. So let's go back to Unity. Uh, let's see, shop face textures. And let's import these four that I have here. Let's take them into Unity as usual, straight there. Importing now. Sometimes it takes longer than I would like it to, but fortunately that's the way it goes. So I'm just going to use this one here, Shop 008, and stick it straight on there. So as I say, I'm not going to teach you to suck eggs too much. This one was just a quick little one, just to kind of prepare us for the last episode. Um, all these assets that I've given you for free in this one, take them, use them in whatever way you want to. Um, it's up to you however you lay out your city. I've used that quick little thing there. Um, I do have a project to show you in the next episode and the next one will be uh, the final one as I say. Uh, I'll give you a few more assets to use in that one. Um, again it won't be a long one but I will show you what uh, you can make with the final uh, version of this. So as I say Play around with the skyboxes, add more of these background buildings in, play around. Um, in fact, add, add, one thing we will do before we quickly go is let's add a quick little bit of lighting for if you say you decide you want an evening kind of skybox. So let's say you have that selected. If you want to add a quick bit of light here, game object, light, and you can choose directional point spotlight area light. Um, the directional light is the one that offers you shadows if you want to use them, say, as uh, the sun. But for now, I'm just going to go to point light, and as it creates a kind of a simple area of light. So I'm going to over here change the range, and for example, let's change it to 100. 
and you'll see as we move it around there is some lighting and reflection going on. So we can move it to say there, press play. As we walk over here you can see there is some light going on. So this portion is brighter than the rest. You can also change the colour of this light, so let's change it to a yellow, give it the kind of street light effect if you want to. Uh, you can also put that light, I guess, inside the, um, the little subway that we have going on. Oops, let's zoom in a touch there. So let's put that in our subway. Let's have a quick look. The lighting generally is a very easy kind of thing to get used to. It's not too difficult, but there's the subway with the kind of yellow light. So you change it to whatever you want. Um, I'm actually going to delete that and set my um, uh, my skybox back to number seven. But as I keep babbling on, uh, you change to whatever you want. So we'll leave that quick little tutorial there for now. We've, um, like I say, a few more assets you've got to use, a few little things to play with, uh, skybox, and just build your city up now to um, uh, to build up for the final episode. Uh, so until next time, uh, thank you very much for watching.